My name is Colonel William Yates, and I'm a chaplain in the Air National Guard. As ministers, we are called to serve God, each in a unique way, each with our own backgrounds. And some of us are called to serve in a very unusual place, like this. My local Air National Guard base is part of the United States military, a place that takes special talents and that presents an array of exciting challenges, a place where many have found a deeply fulfilling ministry serving those who serve us. The men and women of the Air National Guard have a unique mission. Protect the United States in time of war or conflict, and come to the aid of their fellow citizens in times of natural disaster. Their missions vary from flying and maintaining cutting-edge aircraft, to refueling airplanes, to mobilizations when a tornado or hurricane strikes. There are even humanitarian missions to countries overseas. One of the most important distinctions of the Air National Guard is that the time commitment isn't overwhelming. Air Guard members, including chaplains, serve one weekend a month and two weeks of refresher training each year. It's a high tempo and high intensity environment, one that is physically, mentally, and spiritually demanding, one that presents a myriad of new experiences when a minister becomes a chaplain. As a chaplain, you're walking alongside people that really need an encouraging word, that need to be given that hope and that inspiration to keep on going. And you're able to do that as a chaplain because of the fact that you're welcomed. In our history, as we look back, going back to the original days of the Continental Army, uh, President George Washington invited the first chaplain to leave his parish and walk alongside his troops. And that is still the tradition today, that chaplains are able to minister to the needs through the ministry of presence. And that's how we meet the needs of our men and women. The idea of military chaplaincy, you know, the church doesn't have to be in a, you know, in a building, in a church setting that we think of. Um, visiting the flight line, that could be where my church is. You know, um, visiting deployment lines, that could be where my church is. So in other words, I view um, my ministry as every airman I touch is where my, my church is. Professional development is a large part of Air National Guard culture. Chaplains attend conferences around the country and meet with ministers of other denominations. It's an education that never ends. The majority of Air Guard members like you live and work in your community. They are here for the long term. Most pastors maintain a community-based ministry along with their chaplain duties. Many serve in the Air Guard as outreach to the community. It can enhance and even enlarge an existing congregation. Or a senior pastor may suggest a chaplaincy for an associate pastor. Of course, ministering to such a large and diverse flock means time management skills are critical. Being a Air National Guard chaplain, a husband and a father, and also a full-time minister requires a unique balance. But there's a pride there that you get with serving your country. And there's also a purpose that you get by providing pastoral care and ministry to our nation's heroes. As a chaplain, you're gonna find yourself stretched. And what I mean by that is you're gonna be broadened. You're gonna step outside your comfort zone and what you know, and that is gonna be one of the greatest things. I'll give you an example of that. I had the distinct honor to be there on the flight line for what we call an angel flight and see that aircraft come home bearing the body of an Air Force Special Operator with combat control and be out there and welcome home that airman. There is no greater honor. And yes, there may be moments of challenge as a chaplain, but God will give you the strength and you will know you're in the right place. So I would say if you're looking for a rich ministry, this is the place to serve. Chaplains in the Air National Guard do ministry in so many ways. We marry, we baptize, we provide counseling, we visit, we do unit visitations, we also do hospital visitations, and we visit them in the homes. Chaplains in the Air Guard also receive the same benefits as any military member. You will earn points towards a military retirement, low-cost insurance, and pay commensurate with your rank. 
And on top of all of this, every state also has their own local benefits. So make sure to talk to your recruiter about them. These are monetary benefits that can help ease the financial burden of a local congregation. And even though chaplains do not attend boot camp, they do undergo their own unique basic commissioned officers training program. This initial training is where you learn the skills necessary to minister to airmen as chaplains serve both airmen and families. You will find in chaplain ministry that there will be people that will never don the doors of a chapel or a church or a parish or a mosque or a temple, but they will show up at your door and they will say, Chaplain, I'm facing one of the greatest challenges of my life and I want your advice. And that is the greatest honor, to be able to deliver a message of hope and love and grace to men and women that would never traditionally don the doors of a church. So pray for us and pray for the men and women of the Air National Guard. And pray for God's guidance if this is the right opportunity for you. The Air National Guard needs qualified chaplains serving the men and women of the Air National Guard. If you are interested in adding armor to your armor of God, then learn more about becoming an Air National Guard chaplain. To learn more, visit GoANG.com or call 800 to GoANG.